Hello, so with this video I hope to show you how to set up your ESO FT710 uh, to connect with your computer. Uh, this initial video uh, will show you how to set up the drivers, uh, USB drivers, and uh, when you connect the radio, how to see what the COM ports are, how to determine that information so this is a very basic initial installation to do that I uh, grab an um, old laptop that I have here and uh, I installed Windows 10 this is a, a very recent fresh install of Windows 10 professional it does not have any ham radio programs, no FT8, no nothing. It's just a basic install. Uh, I installed just a couple of things to be able to record this video like OBS Studio, uh, updated the drivers for Windows, updated video drivers, updated all of whatever needed to be updated for Windows in general. I uh, did all of that uh, not much into customization, got rid of a couple of icons here and there, but essentially this is a very vanilla, basic, fresh install of Windows. So as you can see, uh, this is a kind of old laptop, it's just 1.8 gigahertz of uh, processor speed, um, and it has only 4 gigabytes of RAM so it's not a very fast computer it's running Windows 10 Pro it's updated uh, as of uh, uh, July 15 2024 so this was installed uh, yesterday actually nothing else is running on this computer there's no dual boot there's nothing else this computer originally uh, had Linux I actually replaced the hard drive to save my Linux installation, put on a brand new hard drive and installed Windows just to make this video. So hopefully this will be a very clean cut uh, installation uh, that you can follow uh, with your uh, computer. So let's start with, um, first off let's get to the uh, YESO website and download the drivers for USB. So once you get to their website, uh, you want to go to products, HF transceivers, then you want to pick the FT710. You want to go to the file section and you want to scroll down to where you see the um, USB drivers. So here they are. It's under amateur radio software. Well, there's several things under amateur radio software, but you don't want to get to the firmware or any of that you just want to get the uh, USB driver virtual com port driver for Windows 10 and Windows 11 again I'm on Windows 10 right now so once you get the drivers you can open that folder and I'm going to create here that this is for my own organization uh, a folder called YESO and I'm going to drop that in there okay now you don't have to be OCD like me you can just go ahead and save it on that download folder and go from there so I'm going to uh, um, extract there it is you're going to open your device manager and once you plug your 
radio to the computer you will see it showing under COM ports somewhere around this area here okay so let's go ahead and pause the recording now and I will connect the radio to the computer so now that I have the computer next to the radio I can finally plug the radio to the computer um, the cable that I am using is actually a cable that was recommended by Yezu but similar cables will do the job just make sure you don't buy a very cheap cable because cheap cables will most likely give you headaches and so to avoid that just get a nice cable I'll leave the link uh, to the uh, Amazon uh, store where I bought the cable from so uh, the radio is right now energized by the power supply but the radio is actually off so what I mean is that the radio is connected to the power supply the power supply is on but the radio is turned off okay and you can leave the radio off for now I'm going to connect the uh, USB cable to the computer And you will notice that now I have in uh, under other devices I have a couple of COM ports. So Yezo has two COM ports. He has the standard COM port and the enhanced COM port. Uh, what I want to do is update the drivers. So update driver and I want to browse to the location where I downloaded the driver. So it's in Downloads, it's in Yezo, and here's the uh, Windows Driver folder. I click Next. It says drivers are updated. Successfully install, close, and I should be able to see the driver. Uh, for the standard so let's go ahead and uh, update the second one so the location is still the same I won't I don't need to change that so I do next and Windows says it's installed the drivers close it and there you have it you have the standard driver on COM port 3 the standard connector and the enhanced connection on COM port 4 so you want to remember these two numbers COM 3 and COM 4 those are the uh, communications ports to your radio